this video we're going to talk about tool management. We start that from the tools machining objects little button here that will open up our machining objects window and I'm going to move that window up so that we can see it a little better and we have the tabs across the top we're interested in the tools menu and then once we open that we have a series of icons here the first obviously is to create or edit tools the second is to load a tool library and this is important that we can save our tools in their configurations move those to another machine open them back up so we don't have to recreate those tools each time so I'm going to open my tool list so load from library I have it here on the desktop Jeff tools dot VKB I'm going to click on that and open it and you can see here 24 tools have been successfully loaded so you'll see here a, a series of tools and naming conventions as we mentioned in the creating of a tool is very important I'm using S for shopbot H for Haas this is a ball mill eighth inch short shanked for wood here's a ball mill eighth inch but it's got straight flutes not the spiral flutes here's a shot bot end mill here's an O cut that's one specifically designed for plastics you can see here some of them are long end mills because all those things need to be treated a little differently so I can manage those and the real beauty here is I can calculate the feed rates but once I start cutting with it maybe I find this eighth inch end mill and MDF doesn't cut the best when and running at the calculated feed rate that I may need to lower the feed rate or up the feed rate a little bit and so the next time I go to cut it I don't have to figure that out again I can just run this tool knowing that I've picked the best tool feed rate for that material additionally we can now save the tool library that's the fourth icon here click on that and I can name it make sure you use tools from knowledge base or that dot VKB there is another option of a CSV file but the feed rates for the tools are not brought in with that file so always use the VKB file type additionally here if we go to this fifth icon unload it will actually pull the library back out of Rhino 